What's up everybody? Brett here. Back today playing some more Darkest Dungeon. Check out our our team. Super heavy hitters, all DPS. We're going in hard on the Shrieker this time. We're not attacking his nest. We're going for him. Cross your fingers. Last time we tried this strategy we were under leveled and some things went bad for us. This time though we are going hard. We've got better relics or trinkets rather. We've got better leveled people. And I think we can just smash them. So stunned by the apparent value of the thing concealed amidst its putrid feathers, onlookers wondered if a trek to its perch might not be in order. And we're fighting over the, the, the distended crow's eye. Man, my reading today has been bad in just about everything I've tried to record. <laughs> so forgive me. Uh, but it's the Horde Shrieker. It's the highest level Shrieker there is. This item gives you accuracy and some stuff that's good in the dark, but otherwise it's a very weird item. I don't really understand its place. We've got all DPS to hit the back line. We've got stuff for marked targets. We're going to attempt to mark with uh, probably our musketeer, and then we're just going to beat him down. Yeah, let's embark. No healer. It's kind of the big thing. Food is is nothing to us. We'll take a few of these, we'll take four of these, we'll remember to use them this time. We'll do this to debuff, we'll take four of these in case of uh, horror. I think that's a real thing. Okay, we're gonna use our dog treats right off the bat too. Wish me luck guys, I've fumbled this in the past. We also probably could have taken some of our um, shield breaker items. Just an interesting thought. Let's see how much HP this thing has. I've got accuracy trinkets, damage trinkets, anything that'll let me hit him. Only 154, man, that's not a lot. All right, pop the dog treat. That gives us increased accuracy and damage by 50%. We already have accuracy and crit here. We're gonna use the holy water to hopefully prevent us. Oh no, and we miss with all that accuracy. That's pretty bad. He misses two though. And now we mark. And that lowers his dodge by a lot. We should be able to hit him now. Okay, and I totally forgot to use... Do some of that, do some of this. We could get Repost up. But we definitely want to just take advantage of our mark. Use some of that. He is not completely resistant to bleed, but I think we just need to go for like biggest damage possible. Excellent, excellent dodge. Death waits. That's the type of stuff we're scared of, but if we burst him down fast enough, it should be a problem. Two misses here is just the worst. And we can't hit him in the, no we can, he's huge, okay. We have bonus accuracy on everyone and we're still missing. We need to lower his dodge again, he's back up to 63. Come on guys, let's get these hits. We gotta mark him one more time. Grievous injury. Okay, stress. Palpable fear. Easiest thing for us to deal with. But we're missing so many attacks. No kill. Alright, good dodge. 41 damage. Does that make up for three misses? Hard to say. But we are, in fairness, dodging quite a bit of things ourselves. Okay, we can also use another dog tree. Don't kill him, damn it. Okay. We're at death's door. We lose accuracy, damage, and speed. Or expire. Like I've been saying guys, just a few damage either way. One not missed attack and this fight is over already. Here we go. Don't die, buddy. Survival is Unbelievable. a tenuous proposition. And then he runs. In this sprawling tomb. We missed way too many attacks. That was garbage. 
Even the death blow didn't need to happen. That sucks. We just lost a high-level highwayman. We did everything right. We lowered his dodge, we took accuracy trinkets. That was Stefan. That that was just uh, I don't feel good about that. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. And to make us feel better, the game just gave us a free 30. No, we have to purchase it. <laughs> purchase a crystal. Sure, we'll buy a crystal. I don't know if we'll ever make use of those. But for 30, we just bought that. So we lost a good character. Let's see if we can make up for it. We do have another level 5 highwayman. So it's not like we're without characters of that type. Yeah, there's hail here. I want to pick up this level 4 shield breaker. And I kind of want to pick up this level 2 Vestal. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. I was hoping he would still be there so we could actually kill it this time. Man, just one or two things. We needed one more hit and he was dead. <sighs> we had so much accuracy and he had so little dodge and we just could not finish it. I'm so bummed by that, guys. Super bummed. Feels bad way to start the uh, the episode today. Let's get rid of our scurvy. Someone had a breakdown. Yeah, so you... Doesn't matter. Let's take care of it. And now, I mean, we're still making progress, guys. Don't... Don't get bummed. We've lost so few guys in this run. It's actually crazy. Let's get into... We don't want to do the wield. The thing has moved to the ruins. Kind of interested in doing the cove. Let's see what some of these items are. Ancestor's Signet Ring. That would have been a really good item for that last battle, for that accuracy. The lantern. It's a pretty cool helmet. Sunshine in the thicket. I'm also looking to see here if there's any type of event that we would benefit from. What's the infestation looking like? It's low right now. Could go get another book of sanity and have four of them. I don't even hate that idea. Gentle Tide. Do we have the Hell's Hell pin? We would just sell it if we do. Yeah. And also the Ancestor's Mustache Cream. Okay. I'm thinking about going into here to activate these three protective wards. That'll give us Gentle Tide, and it should unlock a boss battle for us. So who are we bringing into here? Kind of like the idea of bringing in one of our Jesters. Let's bring in Jake. You know what, let's bring in uh, our Leper instead. Okay, pop that out, pop in Hugh. We don't want this. Just use him straight up as a sometimes hitter. Most of the time just using his buffs. And then of course we need a healer. Probably would bring in a, a champion level healer. Make our lives easier. I don't quite like this team. Is there anything else I can do over the level 6 Jester? I don't really want to bring in... Yeah, let's do something like this. I think we'll just deal with the stress. Yeah, okay. Check everybody's gear. Man, sorry for like the decrease in energy, but like, man, that... 
I had high hopes that we were just gonna knock that bird out for once and it was just gonna feel nice and easy for us and instead things did not go that way you know if I'm not gonna be using this I should probably be using either blind fire or suppressing fire let's go with blind fire for now Suppressing fire can be good against a boss if you're trying to debuff him. And we're slowly but surely making money. Okay, let's get that protection in the front. We're going to go with tried and true stuff. Highwaymen will take range skill. Candle. Okay. Alright, let's provision. And we have to use these on... It emits an otherworldly luminescence used to light protective wards. Pineal gland. Um, we have to put these on the wards throughout the map. This is the cove, so we want to bring a full stack of shovels. Let's bring quite a few medicinal herbs. Probably don't need as many keys or holy water. Let's try and find those quests really fast. Find those altars, put the stuff on it, and make space in our inventory so we can try and make some money off of this run. The flopping fish-like things abhor the warding sigils. Let us claim this place anew. This is a big place. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Sebastian's watch was his last. We were jolted during our evening's repast. The best we could make in these murky halls of our once great house from the roar and flash of black powder. We dropped our bowls and hurried to him. All we could find was his spent pistol and a trail of blood leading into a maze of shadows. We press on. Already picked up a full stack of gold. That is quite something. Let's get that AOE so we can hit the stealth boy. Always remember that we're playing at a bit of a, a handicap because we don't bring our strongest heroes into every every dungeon we go into. Damn, a double whiff on the bola. I'm looking forward to using a hue, but they put all their damage on him, so we'll just take advantage of that and heal him up. He's got extra protection. sick heal. We'll keep spreading the love, I guess. Nice. Excellent crit. As the fiend falls, Let's hoping for the double. Off by one, one DPS. Okay, he survives another day. Was hoping the Arblister would go first, that way we could drop a bandage and get bonus heal. If we tarry, surely more will come. Yeah, we're not gonna tarry. In fact, get the heck out of here. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Holy all. crap. This is one of the best items in the game, guys, and we just casually found it. Holy crap, the ancestor's pen. Wow. Okay, well, obviously we're gonna make room for things. 
Pick up that full stack of gold. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Look at where we are already. We're, we just reached the first room. <laughs> it's hard to pass up that much damage. Yeah, and if he wants to heal, it like he wastes his turn to heal. We still got our damage off. So I dumped the torches the because we have alternate struck. means of making light. A blazing star and we have born. to camp at some point, so we're gonna get full light. We can let it go all the way down and bring it all the way back up and it won't be a problem. Exposed to a killing blow. Don't like a stun here. Okay, we resisted the disease, which is good. Double whiff there, which is bad. Nice. Okay, let's just thin the numbers out as much as we can. Stress will definitely be a factor for this run. Unless we camp at the right time. Come on, buddy. You're making me look like an idiot. Okay, let's go for this. Confidence Give her some self-healing. Of course we get a crit. I'll take it. Can't be mad at a crit. My wife was just texting me, guys. She said she heard on the radio. They're talking about some experimental studies and medications they're they're developing right now to treat ulcerative colitis, which is something that I, I struggled with for a long time. And it gives you like mixed feelings. You're like, man, I wish that would have been a thing before I had, you know, my surgeries. You know, or you think to yourself, their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I know, it, it opens up avenues to get mad. Or to be, you know, upset about it. Like, I'm at the point of no return, basically. I don't have a colon anymore to share a little bit of my medical stuff with you guys. I've had that surgery. I've, I've been there, done that. So, no study that they're going to come out with now, no magic medicine is ever going to help me. But all you can do is really just be happy for the people who are getting it now. And maybe you will prevent people in the future from having that issue. This expedition at least promises success. In the case of ulcerative colitis, like specifically, my kids might end up getting that, you know? Because a lot of what it, it is is hereditary. Oh Jesus, we can't we can't pick up any of this. What do we even toss? What are we doing? These three slots are killing us. Okay, we'll prioritize. Let's please find some altars quickly. Alright, so our first encounter with some bloodsuckers. Since last we met. A devastating blow. Let's try not to miss our AoE attacks and we'll be able to just sweep these dudes. No thirst. I realize that they've been switched around. Come on. We just don't want to get infected. Okay, didn't get the kill. Super happy dodges. Confusion. Nerves and panic. No, none of that. Okay, come on, highwayman. Let's go first. Let's get the double. If he doesn't go for the blood sucking, and we can go. For, okay, dodge it. Mortality no, clarified in a And he's cursed. Strike. No. Okay, we have no blood, we have no room for blood. Well, it was nice not to have that issue for so long. 
we're missing everything and it's because we've taken level fours into this place but I even I still feel like we're missing a bit too much the luck is not on our side like this guy there's no excuse he even has increased accuracy and stuff please there we go Alright, everybody's topped off except for her, so we could focus heal her as soon as we get the chance. And there's an altar. Thank goodness. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And this is another completely full stack here. What do we toss? I'm looking at these medicinal herbs. We're like super rich now. There is really no reason for us to value free quirk removal when we can pay for it like it's nothing. Let's go ahead. A stanchion against spreading corruption. Let's hook that up. Our big problem is that we have no blood to satiate him when he starts to go into craving mode or whatever the case may be. Alright, happy that we know we don't need to go there. Quest location... Okay. We don't need to go south either. We can avoid multiple interactions. The twisted faces Ugh. are damned. Okay. Piled high and cloaked in malice. Land the stun. I'm willing this to happen. Damn. A stun there would have been clutch. It would have prevented it. It would have basically given us an entire free turn against him. Let's go for the blind fire because we have to, but also because it will jack up our speed. That was pitiful. That was a really pitiful first turn. We did 20 damage to him, and now he's got a healer. This could be this could be awful, guys. I don't know if we can beat the collector with this really bad group. Obliterated. So no heals for him at least. We have repost. He's gonna like heal up everything he just reeling. We basically never heard him. And now he's got an army. Jesus. Alright, big hit. Let's see if it amounts to anything. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Let's get buff. At some point, we just have to kill him. That's really bad. We don't want him to guard that guy. It only lasts one round. But we have like no chance whatsoever of killing him. That causes bleed. That's bull. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. We're kind of all in on our Vestal. Being able to keep us topped off. That does so little damage. Let's just go for... If we debuff him, that would be great. Maybe get some crits? Yeah. I was gonna say, we need some dodges or we're just gonna lose. She could bleed out and die. We have to keep her off death's door. The wounds of war can be healed. But never hidden. Talk about a stressful episode, guys. Jesus. We're missing things we shouldn't miss. A powerful blow. I'll take it. We have to focus him, or else we'll just get overwhelmed and die to these things. They hit so hard. God, I hate you. 
And he's been using the life steal instead of using that, which is basically useless. I mean, it, it's it's a horrible attack, but it doesn't kill us, right? Shooting here might do something. It's hard to say. We want them to attack us because we have an extra 27 plus uh, 25, I think. Protection. A momentary abatement. Probably would have been better to use a single heal there. Let's get that repost. A decisive pummeling. Make sure he doesn't attack us. We need this guard to go away. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Crit after crit. We're lucky we have so much disdain. Stacks another guard. Okay, he'll probably summon again. Dodges preserve me. Let's go for a big hit here. And he dodges it. Damn it. Come on, guys. Damage. We gotta get him to zero. Now he's got the healer again. My fear is that we're gonna end up having a negative resolve check. Happy she used that. Can you not crit like four times in a row? Happy that he guarded that guy. Perfect. Okay. More damage. Come on. Yeah, let's not get greedy now. We could have gone for the Judgment. But we've got Bleed we have to be aware of. 62. Good. Healed, himse healed herself. Totally useless. No crit. Okay. It's something. Perfect. Dodging the lifesteal is super clutch for us. And a crit there is beautiful. Huge heal. Very beneficial. 38 HP. And he guards the wrong target again. We can do it. Just, we can't miss. Take it. All right. Let's make it happen. No crits. All right. We were able to weather the storm through sheer Vestal uh, healing, honestly. Land it, buddy. Yes. A predator is often blind to its own peril. We did that with quite a weak group, and all we get for it is 3,500 gold. So clearly in view. Past a certain point, that will not be worth it anymore, light. at all. The light, the promise of safety. Simply because gold won't mean anything very soon if we just keep our upward trajectory. 
Just seeing what everyone's number is. So I think I'm going to let the light dip a little bit. Because we're about to head... No, I'm not tossing anything for this. We are about to head into a place after which I may rest. Alright, how we can do... How, how are we going to do this? Start by topping off some people. Let's get that repost. I was gonna say, if we could get one kill right off the bat, that might be the thing to do, but we didn't land it. We resisted the movement, which is even more important to me than the stun. I don't want to put her in the middle, I don't want to have to bring him to the front. But as we've proven, we can handle damage. Yeah, that's, that's what I was hoping to avoid. And we've shuffled her now. Okay. Getting wrecked by spear fishing right now. Absolutely wrecked. Jesus. Okay. Alright, no more of that nonsense. Such a terrible assault. 20 damage. Be left unanswered. Resist the stun, please. Okay. I want to kill this one. It's trying to bring us further away from that, that zero number. Doing decent damage with the leper too. I feel like I've said decent quite a few too many times. This episode, a 10 damage bleed. Ugh. Life Death's goes. door from a bleed, guys. Vistas of emptiness Crit heal on the wrong character. Hard to be mad, though. Awesome. Big crit. Let's try and dig her out of this hole. She's still going to go down to zero. Kill him before she goes down to zero, like right now. They're we can camp. Camping in falls. Let's see what we can do from there. Remind oh, yourself man. that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, let's use that. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. I can't click on my boy. Okay, this is no, no good. Let me click on him. See, this is weird. I'm trying to use the last of this food to heal. Because I want to pick up these busts, but I, I guess we're just going to do that. But very lame that I can't, I can't do what I want to do here. Does anyone have the bandage on themselves that we can use? Okay. Perfect. That only works for one. So, self only. Suffer 20% HP damage. Yeah, we're going to quarantine. He takes damage, but everyone else really reduces their stress. reduce his further I've been told this coin is lucky you can have it love it do a big heal can remove bleeding yeah 
Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. We should have used this here and then used that there. And then we would have been fine. Didn't mean to do that. Couldn't click off of it, though. Alright, that was that was a series of, of failings. Let's just rest. We'll pump our HP. Because we know that there could be an ambush here. Hopefully As not. The light gains okay. purchase. Party wasn't Spirit shuffled. There's a lot of bad things going on there. Is made clear. We managed to, to not mess up too terribly. And we came out of it healthy. We have enough food for hunger checks. So I'm not proud of the series of events that just took place. Bunch of little minor misclick accidents. I find whenever I play a ton of different video games, like back to back, I always mess up like what I need to click when. I guess it's at the end, so let's go. It's just not all games work the same, and sometimes, I don't know, my brain gets a little confused. I'll take that. Free torch, free gold, and the Journal of Darius. And a squiffy ghast! That big jerk. Bypass the stealth. Increase our chances to crit. In radiance, may we find victory. Yeah. It's just so much better to fight a 3v4 versus a 4v4. No reason to let them have that, that extra DPS. Squiffy Gas has a lot of HP and a lot of dodge. An incredibly annoying enemy. Resisted the debuff though. Perfect. I was gonna say, Repose could be just what we need. That was a very clutch dodge. The 75% protection right now from the guard is just pretty crummy for us. Very good chance we can land a stun here though, and we did. Gotta love it. That's why I use the post, guys. Two free attacks off of an attack. Very little chance to stun Squiffy. So let's keep him from protecting Squiffy. Some of the weirdest series of words I'll ever, I'll ever say. Thank you. And without really taking too much stress for him, he causes horror. And can be quite tough to take down, because you'll notice his dodge was so high that you can end up just missing and missing, and next thing you know, he's horrified your entire team. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Do we have a scout? We don't. Um, we want to use the shovel to open this. Man, I don't think we dump food. What do we dump? Gold is probably the biggest, easiest thing to dump. We could very easily have a hunger check soon. I'm dumping it for the crest, but I would also like to dump something for the torches. We, had, we would have had a lot of emeralds this run. We're going to see what's in here. Gold, sure.
Glad we kept the shovels then. And now we'll toss them. Don't need the key. Toss that. Pick up the camper's helmet. It's worth something. So what it does is stress heal received while camping for the bounty hunter. An increased scouting chance. A really lame item. It's one of those things you get it early and you use it just because you have nothing better. And unless I missed it, what we're looking for is either right here, which it is, nice, or it's at the end of the hall. We're in a decent enough shape to continue. Yeah, let's take one more fight, try and get something good. I was about to say, let's one-shot this stupid jellyfish. Stun here would be amazing. Yep. Things going right for us in the exact last battle. Let's increase our speed. Try and go first with her. The armored maggot has 10 HP, which with 75 protection is kind of a lot. Just went ahead and lowered our speed right back. Stunned the maggot and we brought ourselves right back to radiant light, which is good because we have items that depend on us being in radiant light. Oh, uh, but I think this drops our light. Yeah, it does. Gnawing uncertainty. Look at all the horror. The birthplace of dread. Kill him. Okay, okay, no luck. Another howl. The abyss. The horror is stacking. We gotta kill we gotta kill this thing quickly, this cool. Imagine if we hadn't stunned it twice this battle. How much horror it could have put. Need our leper to hit now, or we just need our Vestal to crit. The greater the glory. Well, well done, Vestal. Give me some good stuff, gold. I'll take it. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. And that's all we need. Let's get out of here. Man, that was something. I'm stressed out. Damn you, darkest dungeon. Damn you all to hell. We're going to sell this Hell's Hairpin, so we're going to make a nice little payday off of that. Lots of characters leveled, which is good. We picked up some diseases, and we picked up another curse. Or our only curse, rather. We've got some diseases to get rid of. Grey Rot, I think, is a pretty nasty one. The frothing waters subside. The advantage is ours. So the reason I did this quest was so that I could get this plus 15% damage in the cove. So it says, Superstitious Mariners rejoiced earlier today at news that unspeakable eldritch evils no longer threaten their cargo. The resolve is something, but it's not a, not a big deal. Let's get rid of Vampiric Spirits. Let's get rid of Grey Rot. You get max HP, which is kind of cool. Very like Nurgle-esque, if you're like 40k. He makes you really, really tanky but lowers your accuracy and damage. We don't need HP on her. We need uh, we need damage and accuracy. So, so unequip, sort. Super happy to get the Ancestor's pin. I know I didn't bring that up much afterwards, but this is a melee damage focused item. You add the Ancestor's pin to something like uh, the Legendary Bracer. Man, for the cost of 20 stress, you're just getting crit 30% damage. One speed is pretty negligible. Let's come over here and sell this before I forget. 3750 This is worth more than the, uh, the gem we picked up. I like how we still get the Distended Crow's Eye, even though we lost. Looks like we can get complete disease resist almost. Maybe they work really well together. I don't think there's an enemy in the game where I really care about disease resist. Like at all. Check the items. 
Oh yeah, and we want to sell that lame camping head, that camping helmet. It's another 1500 and just like that, I mean, look at our gold, guys. We're getting there. So the whole purpose of doing that was to get the boss fight, and to do the boss fight with bonus 15% damage. And since it is a boss fight, I'm not going to dick around. We're going we're gonna to go hard on the boss. We're going to bring a team that I think can do some work against her. Lots of damage, lots of self-healing and, and movement. Kind of like bringing Skibo, even though Bleed isn't the best. I like having some form of ranged as well as stress relief. You know, that whole kit. I think this is fine. Okay, let's do something with it. Let's go protection... You know, do we just go full damage? Alright, let's take that 33 or 33% max HP, we'll take that. And then we'll also bring this for another 15% max HP. Some serious damage in there. Let's do that. We have his collar, which messes with his healing. We could try and counter that with something like, uh, which one is it? The Ancestor Scroll. This will also buff his stress skills. I like that a lot. I wish we had both of these items. That would be something. We just want heals on her. Yeah, this is good enough. And I'm going to try and be quick. Because we don't have a ton of time left. But I do need to take a second to evaluate everyone's abilities. Pale, Sway, Stunning Blow. Holy Lance is something we may need because we can get shuffled if she takes our people. Stuns are also crucial. Hmm. Because if someone gets taken, we can just stun them. And prevent them from hitting us. We don't have to hit them very hard, but also we prevent them. The Long Crusade. Look how sick that sword looks. We prevent them from hitting us. And Zealous Conviction. So Xenophon is now an absolute unit. Quick second to check the skills. Man, I always undervalue this ability, but it's so good. It gives huge torchlight and marks the target and buffs him with protection. I need to make use of that at some point this run. Let's see what the... We've got gold. Let's jack it up. Let's see what the, the, the highest level is. Okay. Just huge protection on him. I don't know if we're going to use it, though. I just kind of wanted to see what the highest level of it was. Okay. Hopefully this does not go into the category of we have to walk through an entire super long dungeon oh we need a full stack of shovels but if we do we need to be prepared for it I'll take a little bit of laudanum under the blood moon I lured my wide eyed prey to the pier's edge before she could properly appreciate her position I clamped on a manacle, chaining her to the leering idol. A small push was sufficient to send both into the icy waters. And when at length the tide receded, jewels of the most magnificent grandeur lay scattered upon the shore. So if you don't remember, he was basically having money troubles, and he made a pact with the fish people to like give them a lady, a queen. So he took this little girl who was following him around. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. And now we know what he did. He tied her up and pushed her into the water. So one, two, three, four, five. 
We know where she is. She's right here. So let's go get her. It's nice to know. Okay, God-fearing. Oh, wow. She has a ton. Oh my god, there's two of them back to back. What? So guys, this gives you free quirk removal. I've never seen this before. That's amazing. We got rid of Bloodthirsty. Awesome. Holy crap. That was a lot of value. A lot of value indeed. So, who do we target right now? Probably her. We're gonna kill her easily. We need to put her in the front row. I want to have the option to use Impale. He's got huge stun resistance, but maybe we get lucky. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Going for them stuns. Guard on Squiffy feels bad, but if we stun him, which we can do with our Vestal, we knock it off. Alright, hit me with that off-kilter jig, and we dodge it. Like champs. Okay. As the fiend falls, a faint this is all super blossoms. good stuff. I was going to do something completely different. But now I don't need to. Let's just try and burn down Squiffy. Another big attack. She can do piercing damage and ignore this guy's protection. A devastating blow. Just land the kill, buddy. He's Their got bonus versus unholy. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Ow. Might have been a good time to try and get some stress relief on us. Land the stun here, buy ourselves a little more time. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. A momentary abatement. There we go. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Wow, what a weird... What a weird collection of stuff. Okay, so holy water for this. Should buff our hero. 18% damage, not bad. And it's until we camp, so we're not going to camp before we get to the boss. Oh, no. And they're all super resistant to blight. But not to bleed. Spread the damage around a little bit. And let's see if we can do something with our impale. Continue the onslaught. They all Destroy were blighted. Dead. All. Not quite dead. Nice though. Getting two on the first first round is Great nice. Is the weapon that cuts on and the other own. two are very hurt. We'll be able to dispatch them easily. Heal ourselves up. As long as we don't get cursed, we're happy. If you ever really look at this model, guys, this is a man. 
with legs wrapped around him, and this creature is like sucked the back of his head. And this may be his face, or it may be a creature on top of his face. It's such a horrifying thing. Ghoulish horrors. Boy. Brought low and driven into the mud. We don't need six shovels. I can basically guarantee that. And it's sad that we're gonna uh, let us take so Littering much damage from that because we're probably gonna toss some of baubles. these things. Paid for in blood. Um, or I'll just use food. Let's pick that up. Next we'll toss the torches. We could have gone a lot of different directions with what we what we tossed there. But the, the fact is, I'm anticipating having to toss a lot of things. So I'm not sure how much it matters what I toss exactly. And remember also that after we beat the boss, if we're in good shape and we camp, we might have to fight another one of those, uh, those dreams. With the big snakes. don't really bother me. We've got inevitability on this one. That's a bit annoying though. Top ourselves right back. And then they finish with a crit. Alright. I see you. Crit him right back. Leave him with no DPS. Hopefully we just... I really just want him to heal himself. It's about that time, though, where we need to start spamming out the Cry Havoc. Let's impale. I don't want to kill him yet. Let's get the heal. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Get the free torchlight, the heal, the As stress the relief. Gains purchase. We're not, trying to, we're not trying to milk this too much. Is made clear. He's all the way in the front line, so his attack is super weak. Sway to the front, give ourselves some blocks. Perfect. And now we'll just finish him. Could have gotten one more stress heal. Yeah, it's just it, it is a what it trifling is. Trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Let's toss these medicinal herbs, perhaps. You know what? No, I like this. I like having her in the front line. Ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting. For Man, blood. we toss the herbs. We could still search this. Alright, that was bad, but we didn't actually get the bleed. There was a decent chance we could have uncovered some uh, some food there. With which to heal ourselves. Definitely shouldn't have tossed the herbs. 100% should have tossed those like two torches that I'm holding on to. The light. The promise of safety. Because we still have eight more. Yeah, and I'm super punished. Super punished. Would have been our third free quirk removal. And a nice easy fight. Leading into the boss. And if the boss fight goes well, I mean, we're going to accomplish a lot. We don't want to see her stress go too high. 
because she is someone whose stress is going to go through the roof if we end up doing that dream sequence, the dream battle. Wow. I feel like just because I say that, the game is like, here, buddy, you big dummy. Alright, this thing is dead. We don't have to target it anymore. We have to start lowering stress again. A momentary abatement. We're going to focus her down with the Crusader. Got to get that under control. Slowly, gently. He doesn't get to explode this and destroy is how us. Life is taken. No more stress waves. Let's get another cry havoc. That would be awesome. Another big heal. Go for this. Soothed. Sedated. In radiance, may we find victory. Sway so we don't get hit again. Definitely have to do this. There's a big difference between her being at, you know, 50 stress versus like 20 whenever we go into her dream battle. Plus, we want to go into the boss fight with Topped Off. Yeah, and a crit there is going to even further reduce that. Perfect. Could have asked for better. That that worked out great. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Let's pop our holy water. Let's pick that up. Read that before. And I think we're good to beat this boss, y'all. Not scared of that. We still have enough food to do... The way is lit. The path is clear. Any kind of hunger checks or camp. Require only the strength to follow it. All right, she's got 244 HP. The aquatic devils have remade the poor girl in their image. She is their queen and their slave. She got 35 dodge. She's pretty fast. She has multiple attacks. She has Song of Desire and Devour. Just stack whatever the hell we can stack on her. She's not very resistant to blight. If we could stack huge blight, that would be the way to go. Her stun resistance is of course high. Maybe we get lucky. Okay, not quite. Thank goodness. Song of Desire resisted. High tide. That's gonna bring in a stupid jellyfish. It's only got 20 HP. Death waits. No stun, the please. Slightest lapse in concentration. Damn, we got stunned. Resist. Nope. Okay. Let us try and kill the jellyfish, maybe. We dodged our own. That was bad. That was pretty bad. We need him to miss. Or use that. On himself. <laughs> That's awesome. The blood quickens. That helped us. He just got rid of his own stress and didn't hurt us at all. But we've got to put damage on her. She's got too much HP. 160 still. Alright, jellyfish down. No more stun. We've seen a lot more of her abilities now. Please heal yourself again. That would be awesome. Excellent. All right, so no harm, no foul at the moment. Adder's Kiss is tough because we don't want... Yeah, we don't want 
to move our Vestal to the front line. This is also bad. And he's in the back, but that's why we brought Holy Lance. Impressive. Perfect. Keep beating her down. Happy that we're not missing much. Please resist. Damn. This is all very bad for us. Very, very bad. We needed him to go first and he's going last. Alright, good dodge. Let's holy lance it up. And we whiff. It's all about the movement forward. It also does big crits. Back it up. Movement is very important in this fight. We have multiple sources of it. I guarded her. I mean, that's cool. Let's go for some damage. Damage there would have been nice. It also would have healed her. Miss, miss. Whatever you're doing, miss. Oh, he's giving herself block. So when she comes back to us, she'll still have the block. Things honestly could could very hardly be going better than they are right now. Just the skill usage has been really in our favor. A crit to make up for that miss, Compassion I'll take it. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. That was rough. Don't take me. Dodge it. Man, a single dodge there, and this battle's like over. I'll take that too, and that preserves our block. So does that. This, man, she's dodging everything, so we're not having to actually use up our blocks. It's really good. Keep using tears. Masterfully executed. Not mad at that. Seven HP, essentially five. Blocked. Good. Blocked it, but still got the bleed somehow. Oh my god, guys! I forgot the dog trees. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. We probably wouldn't have missed that attack earlier if we had had the dog treats active. And now we're stunned and the battle's gonna end and it's gonna be too late. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, let's just finish it. Get out of here. Hideous matriarch, vile queen of the aquatic depths. She has no place in the sane world. Okay, and now we're gonna hold on to the dog treats. Pop that, get rid of that. These are worth something, but not much. Toss the shovels. Toss the torchlight. Continue. Shuffle. Shuffle. Camp. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An okay. uneasy companionship. Okay. We can prevent a standard nighttime ambush. These are such good abilities. So is Therapy Dog. We definitely want to use Therapy Dog. It's going to help them, but it's also going to reduce the amount of stress we may pick up. Minus 25% stress for her is, is huge. Well, let's just prevent a standard nighttime ambush. I'm pretty sure that has no ability to stop the nightmares. Let's hope for the nightmare. Yes! The desert, it pulls me back. 
So we're gonna get another unique item for her. Horrifying memory. Brought back into the spotlight by a tortured mind. And we have the ability to stress heal her. She starts off with horrified. Nothing we can do about that. Sway is really good here. Please don't paralyze me. Nice. Sometimes you just gotta negotiate a little bit. Man, the absence of sound is really like freaky. Okay, let's go for the impale. We blight one of them. Alright, this one's dead, the Enraged Rattler. That's awesome for us. Death we won't be able to touch him until he comes out of stealth. Man, double whiffs on Xenophon. Don't paralyze my healer, bro. Okay. We can get rid of the Blight. We're gonna have to, because it's 8 damage, Jesus. Once again, forgot to use the Dog Treats, I'm a big idiot. We're whiffing attacks. Two turns, it's dead no matter what. Now the big guy can heal. He's got Molt. Xenophon cannot land a hit to save his life in this battle today. That is what's up. That's some serious dog treat bonuses right there. Yeah, let's impale. I don't even want to give that thing the chance to hit me. The wounds of war can I was hoping be for a healed, crit, maybe. But never hidden. What's the stun chance? I can't see behind the letters. We have a chance to stun, and we nail it. All right, so easy fight, easy life. We probably don't even necessarily want to continue after this, though we do have space in our inventory. We won't have much space They're after we do this because we'll pick up quite a few things. Probably three or four things. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Alright guys, this was six of seven. The knife is dull and I must work quickly. In my panic I saw hack and gouge. My cries are met with the silent indifference of the dunes. The chill of the desert wind. The cold light of the moon. I am sacrificing my beauty for a chance to live. Paying for my future with the only currency I've ever had. Okay. Dog treat out the window. Obsidian dagger. Oh man. Can't be guarded though. But she gets protection, HP, debuff skill chance, blight skill chance, and something else. Some other great set of stats that we can't even can't even see right now. Toss those. Toss five keys. Pick this up. And we're done. We're just going to head out. I feel like I clicked on the wrong thing for a second. I don't know. Didn't notice. Doesn't matter. We made a lot of gold. 15k plus this plus our interest. We picked up another trophy. The Siren's Conch. Plus 50% debuff resist. And minus 20% stress, that's the big deal. This is just a better version of the Books of Sanity that we're currently using. We already have one of these, we don't need it. We'll sell it. Man, look at all our diseases. Tapeworm. And two of these. Ennui. I think it's how you pronounce that. The man is slave to the beast. Wow. And the beast is slave to the moon. 
and it is during such lunar phases that many residents report shrieks and howls of the most profoundly unnerving quality. Do we have any... Nah, we won't benefit from this at all. It's pretty sweet, but Brett is our only abomination, and he's already level 6. So we won't get any benefit from that. Let's just do this while I'm remembering. Get rid of that. Let's go into here. Let's unequip, of course. Sort. Check out our double. Sell. We're almost at 300k, guys. We're starting. The snowball is finally starting a little bit late. Uh, but we're going to very soon get to the point where we're just drowning in infinite cash. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. We picked up another blueprint. Um, we have a lot of trinkets. You'll see we got... Or, heirlooms rather we have 223 crests which is probably enough to do something if we were to shuffle some stuff around uh bonfire for instance i like the outsiders bonfire a lot training ring is also great i mean they're all good we could probably force one of those maybe two. Oh, look at the cool little in time, guy. you will know the tragic extent of my failings. A shimmering cloak. Interesting. I don't think I've ever even seen that item. Oh, we also picked up some junk. Let me let me sell this. Another... Yeah, that's... I mean, that's decent money. We just made another, like... Was that, 2250 That put us over 300 k All right. So next turn, next uh, next episode, guys, look to see us in the Warrens. We might go for our first, I think it'll be our first or maybe second long champion dungeon. Try and knock that out. Pick up another Ancestors item. We accomplished a lot today. We did our sixth uh, version of the Shield Breaker's Dream. We picked up the Ancestors pin, which was an amazing, amazing item. We beat a boss, Spinal Form picked up the siren conch uh we lost to the shrieker sadly and we lost the character but we still picked up its unique item and you know what while i'm remembering we're already going long so let's let's just keep going long um one of us who was who was it who was there was it our was it daryl someone picked up a bad like corvid type curse and I don't remember who it was. Who was there with us? Is Triari there? No. Burr wasn't there. Man, who was it? I noticed it at the time, but I'm not remembering now. Was it Stanley? No, it wasn't Stanley. It might have been Skibo. Skibo might have that, no? Okay, now I have to know. Real quick. I'm looking for something that says, like, Corvid. I thought it was a negative. I'm just checking everyone, because I honestly... Was it either of those? Was it her? Okay, I didn't, I didn't see it. Maybe I was wrong. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We've got more coming. We're going to be fighting a boss in the Warrens next time. Hope you enjoy that. And as always, y'all, I will see you in the next one. Take care.